Sheikh, my question is, when we praying in congregation in a Hanafi masjid, the Imam there stands straight after completing the odd rakah. Yani, he doesn't perform Jalshal Istaraha at the end of the first and the third rakah. In such a situation, what should we do as a muqtadi? Should we finish the odd rakah and straight and stand directly or do Jalshal Istaraha? Because I have heard from a student of knowledge that we shouldn't do that in a Hanafi masjid. Is this true, Sheikh? Jazakallah khairan. Wa jazakum. First of all, Jalsatul Istiraha is a short pause where you sit after the second prostration of the first and the third rak'ah. So I'm in the first rak'ah, I bow, I rise, and then I offer two prostration. Before standing up to the second rak'ah, I sit for a second or two, and then I stand up for the second rak'ah. And likewise, from the third uh, for, to the third rakah. What is this? This is backed up by a hadith of Malik ibn al-Hawayrith, may Allah be pleased with him, in Sahih al-Bukhari and elsewhere, where he described to the congregation, to the people sitting, how the Prophet Sallallahu used to pray and he did this. And none of the companions objected to it. So some scholars say this is a, a, a preferred recommended sunnah, like Imam Shafi'i and other schools of thought. Others say that, no, the Prophet did this when he was old and he had to take this pose before standing up and this lacks evidence and proof. So you have to present us with such proof to back your claim and justification. Having said that, it's a recommended sunnah. When praying in a Hanafi masjid or behind an imam who doesn't offer it, can we offer it? Again, an issue of dispute. Some scholars say, no, you should not offer it, like Sheikh Al-Albani and others. Other scholars say that, no, this is a recommended sunnah. It takes no time at all. It's, it's a second delay or two. So there is no problem in offering it and uh, uh, following the imam. And this is what I'm inclined to, and Allah knows best. 